Hey, Tom Stewart here. Checked out Resident Evil Afterlife last night. That's right. Zombies in 3D. Oh, wait. You need the glasses. So the movie's got some pretty cool 3D special effects in it. Uh, it's Avatar-esque at times. But I think it took like 20 minutes before we even saw a zombie. The movie's about a good guy, or good girl in this case, taking on the bad guy who's responsible for the apocalypse. Eventually, she ends up stuck in a prison fortress with a bunch of strangers, safe from the millions of zombies outside at first. But they eventually get in, and then we finally get some good zombie action, gross and violent. And somehow, our heroine manages to keep all her makeup perfect. Oh, and the zombies have evolved. They're using weapons and tools, and have apparently mutated into some sort of predator-type monster. Not the flesh-eating, brain-craving zombies you've come to know and love. Eventually, she gets out of the prison alive, only to end up on a boat fighting the bad guy again, who apparently has learned all his fight moves from the Matrix. The movie is more like a futuristic video game. Actually, it is a video game. The only reason to see the movie is for the special effects and a few good zombie blasting scenes. I'm going to give it three out of five red robot spiders. But what did they have to do with anything?